Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Savapi, savapi are small grilled sausages made from a mixture of minced meats, typically beef and lamb. They are seasoned with garlic, onions, and various spices like paprika, cumin, and pepper. Savapi are often served in warm flatbread, lapinja, with diced onions and a side of ivar, red pepper spread, or kajmak, creamy dairy product. Savapi, also known as savapsisai, are a popular street food in Croatia and several other Balkan countries. These small, oblong-shaped grilled sausages are made from a mixture of minced meats, usually a combination of beef, lamb, and sometimes pork. Here's a description of savapi meat mixture. The meat mixture for savapi typically consists of ground beef and lamb, although the exact proportions can vary. The meat is often mixed with minced onions, garlic, salt, and various spices like paprika, cumin, black pepper, and sometimes even chili powder or red pepper flakes. The seasoning adds depth of flavor to the sausages, shape, and size. Savapi are shaped into small, finger-like cylinders or oblong shapes. They are usually around 10 to 15 centimeters, 4 to 6 inches, long and are about the thickness of a finger. The size may vary slightly depending on personal preferences or regional variations. Grilling, savapi are traditionally cooked on a grill, which gives them a smoky and charred flavor. They are often placed on skewers or directly on the grill grates. The sausages are cooked until they develop a crispy and slightly charred exterior, while the interior remains juicy and tender. Serving, savapi are typically served in warm, fluffy flatbread known as lapinja. The bread is usually split open and filled with several savapi. Diced onions are commonly sprinkled over the sausages, adding a refreshing crunch and mild onion flavor. Some variations may include additional toppings like ivar, a red pepper spread, kajmak, a creamy dairy product, sour cream, or even cheese accompaniments. Alongside the bread and onions, savapi are often served with a side of ivar, which complements the flavors of the sausages with its tangy and slightly sweet taste. Other popular accompaniments include fresh tomatoes, cucumbers, and a variety of pickles. Savapi can also be enjoyed with a side of fries or a fresh salad. Savapi are loved for their robust flavor, smoky aroma, and tender texture. Pika Pika is a traditional Croatian cooking method where ingredients like meat, vegetables, and herbs are slow cooked under a bell shaped lid known as pika. This method allows the flavors to melt together, resulting in tender and flavorful dishes. Common ingredients used in pika include lamb, veal, potatoes, bell peppers, and herbs like rosemary and thyme. Pika is a traditional Croatian cooking method that involves slow cooking various ingredients, typically meat, vegetables, and herbs, under a bell-shaped lid. The term pika refers to both the cooking method and the unique covered cooking vessel used in this technique. Here's an overview of pika cooking vessel. The pika cooking vessel consists of a metal or cast iron dome-shaped lid and a deep, round tray or pan. The lid is often lined with hot coals or embers to provide both direct and indirect heat during the cooking process. This setup creates a type of outdoor oven, allowing the ingredients to cook slowly and evenly. Ingredients Pika can be made with various ingredients, but it is commonly used for cooking meat, such as lamb, veal, or chicken. The meat is usually marinated with a combination of olive oil, garlic, herbs, such as rosemary, thyme, and bay leaves, and sometimes white wine or lemon juice. Along with the meat, pika often includes vegetables like potatoes, bell peppers, onions, and carrots, which absorb the flavors from the meat and the aromatic herbs. Slow cooking process. 
The pika cooking process involves placing the marinated meat, vegetables, and herbs in the deep tray or pan, and then covering them with the bell-shaped lid. The lid is sealed to ensure that the steam and flavors remain trapped inside. The pika is then placed over hot coals or embers and left to cook slowly for several hours. Allowing the ingredients to become tender and develop rich flavors, aromatic flavors, during the cooking process, the combination of the ingredients, marinade, and the enclosed environment of the pika creates a unique aroma and flavor profile. The slow cooking allows the meat to become succulent and infused with the flavors of the herbs and marinade. The vegetables also absorb the fragrant juices, resulting in a deliciously tender and flavorful dish. Octopus, Croatia's coastal location means that seafood, including octopus, plays a prominent role in its street food scene. Grilled or marinated octopus is often served on a skewer or in a bun, accompanied by fresh herbs, olive oil, lemon juice, and sometimes a drizzle of balsamic glaze. The tender and flavorful octopus is a highlight for seafood enthusiasts. Octopus is a popular ingredient in Croatian cuisine, especially along the coastal regions. Known for its tender and flavorful meat, octopus is used in a variety of dishes and is often enjoyed as a street food delicacy. Here's an overview of octopus in Croatian cuisine. Preparation Octopus is typically cleaned and prepared before cooking. This involves removing the beak and ink sac, as well as cleaning the body cavity. Tenderizing techniques such as freezing or beating the octopus are often employed to break down its tough muscle fibers and achieve a more tender texture. Grilled octopus. Grilled octopus is a favorite way to prepare and enjoy this seafood delicacy in Croatia. The octopus is usually marinated in a mixture of olive oil, garlic, lemon juice, and herbs, which adds flavor and helps tenderize the meat. It is then grilled over open flames or on a hot grill until it develops a charred and smoky exterior while remaining juicy and tender on the inside. Octopus salad, octopus salad, known as salada od hobotnis, is a refreshing dish commonly found in coastal areas. Cooked octopus is sliced into bite-sized pieces and combined with fresh vegetables like tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, and herbs such as parsley or dill. The salad is dressed with olive oil, lemon juice, and sometimes vinegar, creating a light and vibrant dish bursting with Mediterranean flavors. Stewed octopus. Octopus can also be stewed or braised in a flavorful liquid. It is often cooked with tomatoes, wine, herbs, and aromatics such as garlic and onions. The slow cooking process allows the octopus to become tender and infuse with the rich flavors of the stew. This dish is often served with potatoes or polenta, street food preparations. In street food settings, you may find octopus prepared in various ways. Palisink. Palisink are thin pancakes similar to French crepes. They can be filled with various sweet or savory fillings, making them a versatile street food option. Popular fillings include Nutella, jam, fresh fruit, cheese, or ham. Palisink are often rolled up and enjoyed as a handheld snack or dessert. Palisink are thin pancakes that are a beloved sweet treat in Croatian cuisine. Similar to French crepes, palisink are versatile and can be filled with various sweet fillings. Here's an overview of palisink batter. Palisink batter is made by combining flour, eggs, milk, and a pinch of salt. Some recipes may also include sugar or vanilla extract to add a hint of sweetness to the pancakes. The batter is mixed until smooth and free of lumps, creating a thin and pourable consistency. Cooking process. Palisink are cooked on a hot griddle or frying pan. A small amount of butter or oil is often used to prevent sticking and to give the pancakes a golden brown color. The batter is poured onto the hot surface. 
and the pan is tilted and swirled to spread the batter evenly, creating thin and delicate pancakes. The palisink are cooked on one side until lightly browned, and then flipped to cook briefly on the other side, filling and toppings. Palisink can be filled with a variety of sweet fillings, allowing for endless flavor combinations. Some popular options include Nutella, fruit preserves, fresh fruits such as sliced bananas or berries, sweetened cottage cheese, whipped cream, or even a combination of several fillings. Once filled, the palisink are typically rolled or folded into a neat package. Serving, palisink are often served as a dessert or a sweet snack. They can be enjoyed warm or at room temperature. To enhance the presentation, palisink are often dusted with powdered sugar or drizzled with chocolate syrup or fruit sauces. Some variations may include a dollop of whipped cream or a sprinkle of chopped nuts on top. Variations, while sweet fillings are the most common, palisink can also be prepared with savory fillings. Popular savory variations include cheese, ham, spinach, mushrooms, or a combination of these ingredients. Savory palisink are often served as a main dish or as part of a brunch or lunch spread. Kulin. Kulin is a spicy, dry cured sausage made from a blend of minced pork, garlic, paprika, and other seasonings. It has a distinctive smoky and spicy flavor and is often served sliced as a snack or as part of a sandwich. Kulin is particularly popular in the Slavonia region of Croatia. Kulin is a traditional Croatian sausage that is highly regarded for its rich flavor and unique preparation. It is a type of dry cured sausage that originates from the Slavonia region of Croatia. Here's an overview of kulin ingredients. Kulin is typically made from a combination of coarsely ground pork meat and fat. The pork is usually sourced from specific breeds known for their high quality meat. Garlic, paprika, salt, and other spices are added to the meat mixture, which gives kulin its distinctive flavor and reddish color. The use of paprika is particularly important, as it contributes to the sausage's characteristic spiciness, fermentation, and drying once the meat mixture is seasoned. It is stuffed into natural casings, usually made from pork intestines. The sausages are then fermented and aged for a period of time, which allows the flavors to develop and intensify. The length of fermentation and drying can vary, but it typically takes several weeks or even months. Smoking, after the fermentation process, kulin is traditionally smoked to further enhance its flavor and provide a unique smoky aroma. The sausages are hung in a smokehouse and exposed to the smoke generated from hardwood chips or logs. The smoking process not only imparts a desirable smoky taste but also helps preserve the sausages, spicy and flavorful. Kulin is known for its bold and spicy flavor profile. The combination of garlic, paprika, and other spices adds depth and complexity to the sausage. The level of spiciness can vary, with some variations being more mild while others have a stronger kick. The distinct taste of kulin is a result of the specific blend of spices and the unique fermentation and smoking process. Serving, kulin is typically served thinly sliced as a cold cut or appetizer.